Hello, my fabulous fifth graders. Today, our lesson is on place value through the thousands. We're going to take what we've learned about decimal place value and really make sure we've got it. Our I can statement today is, I can read decimal numbers to the thousands in standard, word, and expanded form. Let's take a look at our notes for the day. Before we start our first example, they want to point out that a decimal can be greater than one. For example, one and five tenths is greater than one because there is a non-zero digit in the ones place. Let's look at that a little bit closer. This would be an example of a decimal that is less than one. How do we know it's less than one? because here in the ones place, there is a zero. But one and five tenths is an example of a de decimal that is greater than one. How do we know it's greater than one? Because in the ones place, there is a non-zero digit. Let's take that information and try our first example. Five tree taps produce enough maple sap to make one gallon, or about three and 79 hundredths liters of syrup. Read and write the number of liters in word form. Our very first step is going to be to take our decimal and write it in our place value chart. This will help make sure we have the right digit in the right place so that we really know its value. It's super important that you pay attention to the decimal. The decimal will tell you where the whole numbers are and where the decimals are. So, in my ones place, I have a three. In my decimal places, there's a 79. That's a seven in the tenths place and a nine in the hundreds place. Now, we need to pay close attention to the digit in the last place. The place value of the last digit, nine, is the hundredth. Don't forget your THS. We're going to use the word and to read our decimal point. So to write the word form, first we name our whole number. Our whole number is 3. Then we say and to represent our decimal point. Now we're going to read our decimal numbers and name the last place value. So we have 3 and 79, 79 what? 79 hundredths. Here's another example. It asks us to circle the digit in the thousandths place, then write the value of the digit. If you are still struggling to remember the places of our decimal place value, go ahead and just write yourself a little place value chart. This could be the ones. This could be my decimal point. This could be the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. Now I'm going to place my decimal in my place value chart. I have a zero in the ones place, a two in the tenths, a four in the hundredths, and a seven in the thousandths. The, the thousandths place is one, two, three. Three places to the right of the decimal point. We're going to circle that digit three places to the right of the decimal point, three places to the right of the decimal point. The digit has a value of seven, seven what? Seven thousandths. One more example before I set you loose. We're going to learn about expanded form. We're going to take this word form of a decimal, five and six hundred fourteen thousandths, we're going to write it in standard form and expanded form. 
So we're going to take this word form and we're going to break it apart into the things that we know. I know that and is my decimal point. That's right here. Before my decimal point, my whole number, I have a 5. Now I have 614 thousandths. Well, I know that I name the place of the last digit. So that means the last digit should be here in the thousands place. Let's place those digits 614. This is the standard form. The standard form is just the normal way that you are used to writing a number. Now let's talk about expanded form. Expanded form is where you write a number as the sum of the value of all of its digits. Let's start here in our greatest place value. Our greatest place value is the ones. Five is in the ones place. So the first part of our ex expanded form should say five times one. So that's the ones place. Next, we have the tenths place. I've got a six in the tenths place. So that's six tenths, and that's the same as six times one tenth. There's a one in the, well, that's the hundredths place. Let's write that in here. So that has a value of one hundredth, or one times one hundredth. Finally, in the thousandths place, there is a four. A four is in the thousandths place. That has a value of four thousandths, or four times one thousand. So our expanded form is Five times one from the ones place plus six times one tenth from the tenth place, one times one hundredth from the hundredths place, and four times one thousandth from the thousandths place. They just put these parentheses here to help organize the information and keep the digits that are supposed to be together together. Don't let the parentheses stress you out. Here are a few problems I would like you to try on your own. All I ask is that you do your best and give an honest, thoughtful attempt. If you get confused, feel free to back up the video and watch part of it again to see if you can clarify your confusion. If not, we will be going over all of these answers tomorrow in class. That brings us to the end of today's lesson. Our lesson was on place value through the thousandths, and our I can statement was, I can read decimals to the thousandths in standard, word, and expanded form. I look forward to seeing what you come up with tomorrow in class.